Hi guys, so today I'm doing a review on the Bare Essentials Buxom Babe Babes Flower Girls Lip Polishes, the Big and Healthy Lip Polishes. Um, I just got this. I ordered it from QVC. Um, I have been, for some reason, watching a lot of QVC lately. Don't ask me why, but I just have. <laughs> and they do a lot of Bare Essentials. And um, they had it at a special price. And, I mean, look at these colors. I couldn't resist it. I mean, I saw the blue and the purple, and I almost died. I mean, who doesn't want a blue and a purple lip gloss? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I had to have it. So basically, um, they come in these little um, half-size bottles, and this is a regular size Buxom lip gloss that you could buy, um, and then compared to um, that, it's actually a little more than half, maybe, I would say, just a tiny bit more than half, but they're essentially half size of the regular, of the regular size, and they come in four shades, it comes in um, rosy, which is this um, baby pink color and it has a little bit of blue undertone. Um, Lily, which is this light, beautiful light, light lavender color. Iris, which is this baby blue pink, um, pink, baby blue color. And then Poppy, which is a coral. So basically why I love the Buxom lip glosses is because they really don't go on too sticky. I mean, all lip glosses are going to be sticky, um, essentially. But, I mean, I haven't really found a lip gloss that I like that is, you know, smooth and feels like chapstick or something like that. But, um, but they're really not too sticky, and they have this mint in them, and it makes your lips tingle and essentially plump and become a little bit fuller and um, more vibrant. And I love the way that they feel. I love the, the way they apply. They have these... Um, the lip brushes instead of the lip, the doe foot, um, the doe foot wands. Um, and I love their colors. I mean, they come in a broad range. They come in, um, you know, like glaze like colors. These are all like glaze. They have no shimmer and no sparkle or glitters in them. They're all, um, they're all like a glaze. Um, but, you know, the full size ones come in glitter and shimmery colors. But I just think they're beautiful, and I think they just look really good and wear really well, and I just really enjoy them. So I was super excited when I saw this set on QVC. I mean, I had to have it. So basically, um, these are, these are wonderful. Um, the application is pretty smooth. Um, you have to be careful on especially the blue one, but the blue and the purple ones, they aren't so opaque where, you know, your lips are going to turn blue, but if you don't blend it in well enough, you will get more of a milky kind of texture. So basically what you want to do is apply a sheer wash of color as opposed to, you know, globbing this on. This is not a glob on lip gloss or else you will see, you know, it'll look milky, it'll kind of settle in, it doesn't really look good. But um, but, I mean, that's really not a problem. It's not like you have to be meticulous with that. With these lip glosses, I'm just saying that you need to apply more of a thin coat. And if you're the kind of person that likes, likes a big, thick, heavy layer, which I don't know if you would, why you would. But if you're that kind of person, you got to be careful, with the, especially the blue. But um, these are all very sheer colors. Um, the colors are really fun, you know, the purple and the blue, um, but also the pinks and the coral is really lovely for summer. And they're really fun colors, but don't be scared by them. I mean, you do, you will not have blue or purple lips. I mean, if you're afraid of that, you will not have that. Um, they're very sheer, and I will show you pictures. Um, I'm just warning you now that the pictures, they might look to you in the pictures that they're all the same color or that there's hardly any difference. The difference is very subtle, but in person, you know, when you apply the lavender one, you have more of a lavender tone. Right now, I'm wearing the coral color. Yep, the coral color on my lips. It's a little washed off, I think, but I've been wearing it for a while. But, um, so basically, the difference is very subtle, um, but in person, the glosses look really pretty, and they do leave, um, you know, a coat of, a, of that really nice, pretty color. So. Um, the blue doesn't really go on as more of a blue. It goes on more of like a, a lavender, especially when it blends in with the pink of your uh, your skin tone. So um, these are really nice, and th I think they'd probably be best utilized layered over a lipstick similar to the color. So, um, you know, pink lipstick and then this pink gloss, a more lavender lipstick or a pink gloss with this lavender over it would be really pretty. So they kind of just add more of like a subtle, subtle undertone. So worn alone looks really pretty, but I think would be really great worn over a lipstick. So, um, 
So right now I'm going to show you the picture of the pink, of me wearing the pink. So here we go. Okay, and next here's a picture of me wearing the purple, which is called Lily. And then um, me wearing the blue, which is Iris. And then me wearing the coral collar, which is Poppy. And also, I'm wearing the coral color on my lips right now. So, um, basically, I really enjoy these. You know, I think it's a really cute set. I think it sells on at Sephora for about 30 On QVC, it was a special for about 26 I think. Um, so, you know, if you're really into lip glosses, these are some really pretty summer colors. I definitely recommend them, but I definitely recommend the Buxom line in general. They're my favorite lip glosses by far because they smell good, they feel good, they look good, and they wear really well. And, I mean, I think that you can't get any better than that. So, uh, that's my review on this. I hope you guys will go check it out. Um, and, you know, if you'd like to hear more, have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. All right, bye, guys.